All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to graph your data um, for the graphing methods take-home lab. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets if since that's available to everyone. Um, so the first thing I've done here is I've just put in all of my data um, from the lab. So you could have calculated these two columns by hand, um, but if you didn't know, a cool feature um, with Excel or any sort of Excel type program is you could do these in the computer um, and actually would do the mass calculations for you. Um, so I could actually do, just to show you if you'd like to know, so I could hit equal and then I can do the natural log function. And then for this value, hit enter and notice that it's the same. And then what you can do is grab the pull down um, to autofill the equation down to the other ones. Um, yeah. Um, same thing here, we could go equals and then one divided by that value, same thing, and then carry them through. So just so you know, Excel is awesome for doing mass calculations um, or the same calculation over and over and over again, but with different variables. So fun fact, if you didn't know. Okay, so now what we're going to do, like I said, is show you the best way to graph this data. So the goal here is we want to know which of these pieces of data um, give us a straight line um, because in doing so we know whether it's zero order, first order, or second order based off that straight line data. Um, sometimes technically if you looked at your data and it was simple numbers, you may be able to just look at the data and see which one would be linear, but in this case they're all really close so we're going to graph it to verify. So what you're going to do is you're going to select all of your data and go to insert chart okay then what you can do is go over to chart types scroll down and we're gonna do a scatter okay um, this seems to work the best all right then we're going to go to our um, customization here to help us verify which ones are straight um, give yourself a title here if you want so we're gonna scroll down here uh, down to where it shows our different data series. So right now, data series one, um, the blue dots. Okay, so I'm going to go to trend line and put a linear trend line on that. I'm also going to label it so I know which one it's for. So this is just for the concentration. And then I'm also going to show the R squared value because that will help us how close to linear it is. Okay, then if I scroll back up, here, I can then go to data two series, same thing, go to trend line, go to linear, um, add my labels. This is where we're taking the natural log of our concentration. And then also show the R squared data. And then go back up, same thing, data three. Um, and then add my trend line label it as one over our concentration and then add that r squared value and then insert and then you're done um so in doing this you should be able to see um that our natural log of the concentration is actually a perfect linear line which tells us thus this must be a first order reaction. And because it's first order, you can then write the rate law for it. All right, if you have any questions, um, come and see me, but hopefully that should help with this lab as well as future graphing things in the future. All right, good luck.